So this sensor over here is a contactless water level sensor. So what you can do is you can stick this sensor over any container or a water pipe and when there is a water level you can see that the sensor will turn on and when there is no water level the sensor will not turn on. Let me fix this sensor over here and as you can see right now the sensor is turned off because the liquid level is below the sensing point and when the water level increases you can see that the sensor gets turned on. So in this video let's understand the basics of the sensor and how it works and how to use it with a microcontroller like Arduino. Taking a closer look at the sensor we can understand that the sensor has four wires and over here we have one indicator LED and one trim pot over here to adjust the sensitivity. Let's start with the pinout of these wires. Over here you can see the complete pinout. We have four wires starting from the brown one which is the VCC and then the yellow one which is an output pin. The blue one is a ground pin and the black one can be used to select the mode and it is an optional pin. Now let's take a look at the specifications of this sensor. What you should know is that the sensor can operate from 5 volt to 12 volt. Some sensors of the same model can even operate up to 24 volt. And the response time of the sensor is 500 milliseconds. And the thickness range, that is the thickness of the container inside which the liquid can be present, can go up to 20 mm. One more thing you should understand is that the container should be made of plastic or any other non-metallic containers. If it is metal, then this sensor will not work. And then it is waterproof, of course, it has IP65. And apart from that, another advantage is that since it's a non-contact sensor, you can use it to detect corrosive liquids like acids or even liquids that are under high temperature or low temperature inside which you cannot insert a sensor probe. So that's the biggest advantage of this sensor. So now that we know the specifications and features, let's see how the sensor works. So like I demonstrated earlier, the sensor's pin will go high, that is the output pin will go high when there is a liquid detected and it will stay low when there is no liquid detected. And we have a sensitivity pin to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor and with the maximum sensitivity we can go up to 20 mm of thickness for this container. And one more thing which you should understand is this mode pin. So this mode pin over here is used to set the sensor as active high or active low meaning normally if this pin is not connected to anything then the sensor will work like this with the liquid level it will show high but if you want to work it in inverse direction you can just ground this pin and you will get an inverse logic if there is no liquid detected it will tell high and if there is a liquid detected it will tell low. So that's it about for the basics of the sensor. Now uh, we'll also show you how to interface it with Arduino real quick. Very simple. The 5 volt goes to the power pin. The ground goes to the ground pin. And the data pin is connected to digital pin 2. And this is exactly what we have done. Now the code for this project is also pretty simple. We'll just be reading the status of the output pin from the sensor using a digital read. And based on that, we can turn on an LED, buzzer, motor, whatever you wish. So yeah, that's it. This is really a simple sensor to use. And I find it fascinating, especially because it is contactless. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.